You think this is like a new song? <laughs> Whole lot of pain in the ends. Whole lot of pain in the ends. Can't see no way in the ends. Can't see no way in the ends. Ain't no game in the ends. Ain't no game in the ends. But well, man can't leave because they trip. <laughs> What's good? Hey, yo, it's vital. And I can imagine for some of you artists and you musicians out there, sometimes creating a song isn't the easiest thing. And I mean, sometimes the passion's there, but there's no actual ideas. We can't think of a starting point, we're just stuck. For all of you out there feeling the same, I wanna share some experiences with 10 tips artists need to know on how to write a song. So on behalf of the Ditto Music team, I will be going through how to start writing your song, why lyrics matter, recording spare of the moment inspiration, or writing from your own experience, collaborating with other musicians, starting things simple and building on it, taking breaks and resting your mind, not overthinking it, getting feedback, and then last but not least, not being afraid to fail. So here, let's get into it. There are many different ways that someone could make a song. This is very subjective, but also very dependent on things like resources, style, type, vibe, culture, access, ability, focus, aim, and a lot more. But here are a few steps for you to go from idea to outcome. Ah, you know what, I almost forgot. I'll be bringing in a few of my friends from different spaces, kind of let you guys know exactly how they create music in the different worlds that they're in and in the different genres that they represent. And I mean, I dipped into two different pools. So we've got Namaiwa, who is a singer-songwriter who does Afro soul infused with jazz. And also I've got Kyoko, who are a reggae pop band and have toured with the likes of UB40, also hailing from the Midlands, UK. So just like that, make sure you click below, find your markers, the timestamps to kind of find any chapters that you may need more support in. It'll be laid out really easy, but if not, you know exactly what to do. Sit back, relax and take note. And a little housekeeping just before we start, just like usual, make sure you subscribe, you like, you hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. And I wanna see you comment down below because I'll be in the comments. So anything you may need, anything you find interested, if you need support with anything or anything that you feel like I've missed in this video, please put down in the comments. All right, let's do this. Writing a song with unforgettable melodies and creative lyrics can be very challenging. Even the most experienced songwriters go through writer's block some point or some time in their career. And there are many different approaches to songwriting itself. So like I said, you'll be hearing some facts that I've found and some experiences that I've lived and that are well known around the music industry. This is how you can really solidify creating a great song for a great outcome. Watch this space. Where to start writing your song? Depending on what kind of music you're making, you can start with a hook, start with a loop of a beat, or potentially the key chord progression. You can start to build your song around the idea of that, but don't worry if you're struggling to find that starting point or get the correct melody straight away. This method isn't for everybody, but it's definitely something you can start at or have a go at when first starting out trying to create a song. In some instances, not everybody does this, but starting with an intro, whether that's words, a narration, a few ad-libs, something that gives you the energy to the start of the track, as that will then initially lead you on to the next thing that you wanna add to the track, whether that's a chorus, whether that's a verse, whether that's a, a bridge. I mean, I asked the guys, what's the first things they do when starting a song? Once the idea is there, you keep going at that idea until, it. you, until it's finished. Personally, when, I, when I'm writing a tune, I think about the parts that I'd want my pals to play. You know what I mean? Like we play together for so long, you like craft bits or you give people things to build on that will suit their playing and complement the things that they're great at. So when I go to write a song, it's different every time. It depends if I'm by myself, sometimes it might be um, I'm working with a beat pack from a producer that I'm working with or I'm searching just for inspiration beats on YouTube and yeah, I'm just writing, just finding melodies, playing with melodies. If I'm in like a group session or I'm writing with a group of writers or top liners, um, which is what we call songwriters in the industry, or producers, then it's normally collaborative and we start by a conversation. So sometimes if we're writing a song about a breakup or we're writing a song about going on a roller coaster, we talk about our experiences of that and then from there lyrics just come and the songs usually end up writing themselves. So I mean, there's no real rules when you're making music nowadays. So the idea is to just create something that means something. It's really down to the songwriter, the song, the inspiration you get that will determine your start in point. Lyrics matter. Next is the words 
write in the lyrics. So this is the step that matters the most. So the question is, where are you going to take it with the lyrics? So utilizing the vibe, the style, how are you going to take it there? What is going to be the starting words or the starting point when it comes to the lyrics? So again, go with your heart, go with your feelings. Don't rush it, just let it flow. Some cases you might have to write, then rewrite and go over it again. Trial and error, I mean, revisit what you've created. See if you can better in any kind of way. Most of all, I feel like it's so important to make sure the lyrics you're writing feel natural. Let them come out naturally. But in other cases, you might want to really improve on what you've wrote and go back and rewrite and, and go again until it sounds as perfect as you feel it should sound. Many artists nowadays, because of time and feeling and being so free, sometimes just go to the approach of freestyling whatever's on their mind, later jotting that down and utilizing those lyrics. The cool thing about freestyling is that there's no stress, there's no pressure. Whatever comes out, comes out. Then you got the ability to go back, change, tweak, add, take away, all that good stuff. And and eventually get to a point where you feel comfortable with the lyrics that you've created and to be honest lyric writing can often be the most difficult or frustrating part of the songwriting process especially for like amateur songwriters who are lacking in experience i mean having a good idea of what you want your song to be about is always a good start i mean if you want to take it all the way old school you can write down ideas of what you want the lyrics to say inside and eventually start piecing things together until it kind of makes sense to you almost like a mind map and then you can play about with the rhythm the structure structure, the cadence, until it kind of fits the melody of the lyrics. A solid lyrical hook or chorus is always important if you're going to have that in your song. And then you can use the verses and the bridge to build everything around a central kind of theme. Record any spur of the moment inspiration. Anytime, anywhere, get your phone out, hit record and go for it. Whatever comes into your mind, it's the best time to actively get that idea down so you don't forget the melody, the cadence, the flow, the tone, the lyrics, the vibe, the way you feel in that moment. And then the idea is to try to recreate that when you're writing the lyrics and or in the studio recording the song. Like you don't understand how many times I've made songs or thought about lyrics or thought about verses, flows, choruses and I forgot to record them or I wrote the lyrics down but I cannot remember how it sounds. So if you can, I mean every phone's got some kind of way that you can record audio even if it's a video of yourself and you save it of you just saying that little lyric, that little riff, that little flow, that little style, that little whatever it might be. It's the best way to make sure that you remember that little idea that you've just created and so you'll be able to repurpose it into a future song, a future hit. Right from experience. As simple and as obvious as it may sound, some of the greatest hits in the world are just artists writing from their personal experience simply because there's nothing that they have to fabricate or make up or tweak and it's going to feel very connected to their feelings which will be very relatable to the audience and the listeners. A lot of the time drawing from real life events or traumas can spark a lot of creativity around what you're creating and to be honest they don't always have to be negative but as long as they're real and they mean something then they'll relate and transcend to a lot of people. Collaborating with other musicians. If you're suffering from writer's block, and I mean a lot of people at some point go through this, then collaborating with other musicians is a great way to break ground in that space and get a new perspective, a new inspiration on making music. Show them what you've got so far and discuss any new ideas that they might have or suggest and then see what comes out of that. Getting an outside perspective on your track from a fellow musician can often bring the best out of your music. I mean, two heads are usually better than one. Famously, Talib Kweli said, I like collaborations because first of all, I'm really good at writing lyrics. I don't know how to make beats. I'm not good at playing instruments instruments and I'm not a good singer. So even when you see a solo album of mine, it's still a collaboration. I mean, I asked the guys this as well. I said, how do you know you've got the correct sound or idea when creating a track? So I know I have the right sound when I'm creating a song or I'm onto the right thing when the flow is good. So sometimes I've like written the first bit of a verse and then the chorus just comes really easy and then the rest of the song's written itself. Um, but sometimes it's just about, am I connected with the lyrics and what I'm saying? And, you know, if I start writing the first few lines, I kind of, in my head, think about where the song's gonna go and what the whole song's trying to say. Um, and then if I kind of don't want to say that anymore or it's not it's not popping, I just kind of scrap it to start again. So it's more of a feeling, do you know what I mean? Also, I think you don't know for sure if you've got the right sound until people, like you hear it live yeah, in a room. Like, you might that's hear something true. in your head and think, yeah, that's sick. And then, you put it on instruments and it doesn't sound how you want it. But, yeah. You know, you just gotta try these things, you know. Keep it simple and build on it. 
Keeping your track as simple as possible at first is an excellent way on how to build on the track as you start creating the track. It will help you initially to just start building on the songwriting process, the lyrics, and also the structure of how you want the song to be. For example, many complex songs from five to six piece bands started from a simple strum of a guitar. And even some of the best grime, drill, or hip hop tracks started from a loop, an idea, a sound, or just some simple one-liner on repeat. I mean, once you've got the basis of a song, you can start going about adding extras to the instrumentation or the lyrics or the structure. Don't make things hard for yourself by overcomplicating the track from the beginning. Make sure to take breaks. I mean, I'm so guilty of not doing this, but when I have, when I do this, it literally helps to regenerate and go again and I'm back in there for another couple of hours. But when you kind of stay on it, stay on it, you start draining yourself, you start not thinking clear, you start assuming that you just can't make this song. And that's sometimes how writer's block happens as well. Literally a 15 minute break away from your computer, instrument, notes app, or your lyric book can help the creativity start flowing again and allow your mind to not be so clouded of ideas and, and obtain a lot more inspiration. Whatever it takes, you two minutes or two hours the final product is going to be the final product so give it a time if you have the time stop overthinking it as a musician or a songwriter you are literally our own worst critiques so if you judge yourself and your songs too harshly you'll never get anything done if you're too much of a perfection you'll never release anything so give yourself a little time a little space and really live with your music but don't be too harsh on yourself it's very important to have an open mind even though it's still important to take care and consideration on the tracks and songs that you are making Ask for feedback and don't be afraid to either. It's so easy to lose sight of how good or bad a song is after you spent hours and hours, if not days or weeks on this song. So ask someone who you trust to give you honest advice, someone who's not afraid to critique you even if they offend you. Because at the end of the day, you want the product that's gonna live with the world forever to be the best version of what you can create. You don't really want no yes people around you just agreeing with everything that you make. I mean, again, I asked the guys, how do they get their heads in the game? I get my head in the game when I'm creating music in different ways. So if I'm in a session with people, I have to prepare to be around people. Do you know what I mean? I'm quite an introverted person and writing's a very personal thing. So I like to know when my sessions are beforehand so I can kind of just set my vibe good, set my intentions, you know, walk in there and be like, right, today we're writing a hit, we're writing a banger. Um, and that, that usually just happens naturally. Do the things that make you happy and, and sometimes that's non-music stuff. So like going for walks or just chilling with your family or painting or whatever your thing is, like that always just tops you back up. Sometimes it feels like the only time, yeah, like Josh said, like the only time you're not thinking about COVID or, you know, anything else that's going on in the world is when you just got, like you're sat at a, at a computer trying to come up with like the next rhythm or whatever, do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's cathartic, yeah. you know? And don't be afraid to fail. All right, final tip. And I know it's a cliche, but if you're failing to write a song that you know that you've got inside of you, just keep trying, keep going. There's no secret formula to writing a successful song other than a combination of hard work, persistent positivity and talent. I asked them this, I said, can anybody make a song? Yeah, yeah. I, think any, I think anyone can make a good song. I think it just, I think people need to learn how to kind of tap into that creative aspect about themselves, just like, listening just not thinking not thinking not thinking and just listening and just see what the world kind of gives you i feel like anyone can make a good song i think there's a song in absolutely every person and sometimes it's opportunity and experience uh, that brings the music out of you in a way that you you didn't know anybody can write a good song because a good song is just about, about a story. So from these 10 songwriting tips that artists need to know, I really hope that you guys have a greater understanding of how to write a song. So just remember that the lyrics matter. Record any spur of the moment inspiration. Definitely try and write from experience. Collaborate with other musicians. Keep it simple and build on it. Make sure you take breaks. Do not overthink it. Always ask for feedback and don't be afraid to fail. So let me say thanks to Namaiwa and thanks to Kyoko. Loads of love for being involved in this video. And remember, go easy on yourself. Give yourself time to experiment. So from me, Vital and the Ditto Music team, love and respect. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. And I'm gonna see you guys in the comments. Watch out for the next one. More love. Hey people, what's good? It's your girl Namaiwa. I'm an artist and songwriter from Birmingham and you're locked in with Ditto Music. One of you guys can do it.
No, you're the singer. Nah, man. <laughs> you got yeah, the big okay. voice, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're Kyoko, we're from Birmingham. Yeah, big shout out to Dio Music. Big up Dio. Yeah, big up Dio. Dio Music. Kyoko. Um, and then lyrics kind of yeah. come. Uh, and then <laughs> if I'm... What idea when making a song? Okay. I know Thanks. I have the because... Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I can't turn it on silent. All the way down. Oh, okay. Yeah, carry on. Did not even know. I got you, man. Come All on. Right. <laughs> I got a blade to save my life. <laughs> <laughs>